Hi, my name is João Martins. I'm a Forge Developer Advocate, and I'm going to cover with you the IFC workflows with model derivative. We have basically two options from Revit to IFC and from IFC to SVF. And in this first workflow from Revit to IFC, we have four steps. First, we need to choose the file, upload it to a bucket, generate the translation, and download the result file. Let's go do it. I'm gonna use this basic sample project here. I already downloaded it, so I can, I can upload from my specific page for this demo. I'll keep the same name. And once this upload is completed, we can get this URL for the translation. And let's take a look at, on the endpoint we are going to use. We are going to use this post job endpoint for all of the translations. And in this specific case, when we have an IFC output, we can also specify the export setting name, which is the IFC export settings from our, our Revit project, all right? Right now, I need to encode our URL. Let me grab this encoded URL and paste it to Insomnia. Here we have. As you can see, in my case, I don't have the export settings defined, so it's going to use the default one, all right? Let's grab a new token, and now let's post job. All right, success. Now we can verify the manifest for this translation. 0%. And now it is complete. Now we're going to need this URM here and replace on our environment. And also the derivative URM for our IFC. Derivative URM, paste it here. And now we can download the derivative, all right? Let's send and download. And when the download is completed, I'm gonna name this file as legacy.ifc. Now we can save it. And if we go to the, page, the folder, we can open with Notepad. And here we have our IFC. Cool, isn't it? Now we have our second translation from IFC to SBF again. Four steps, choosing the file, upload to a bucket, generate the translation, and in this case, render the result file with viewer. Let's go do it. Let's use the IFC file that we just got from our translation. So here it is, first of all, legacy. And then we can trans upload the same file same IFC, but now with a different name. Let's call it modern. Okay, we have both here. So let's start by translating the legacy one. Let's view object details and copy this URN. And now we, we should take this URN as base64 encode to Insomnia. Here we can post the job for legacy. And in this case, I'm going, I, am, I am specifying the conversion method, but if you don't provide this field, it is automatically set to use the legacy one, which is the NEBIS workload, all right? So it is a success. Now we can check the manifest, 0%, and it is done, okay. Now we'll do the same for the modern IFC file. All right, with this URL. Now we have our conversion method set as modern, which is going to use the Revit loader. And we can also provide these three fields here. We can control if they are going to be translated and if they're going to be hidden or not. Building stories, spaces, and opening elements. Let's trigger the translation. Success, and now we can verify the manifest, 0% and it is completed, all right? Now we can go to 
Visual Studio Code and compare both of our translations, our derivatives. The legacy one first. Here is the textures and the number of objects. And now the modern with different textures and more objects translated, all right? So always go with modern one, unless you have a good reason to use the legacy. Here you can see my resources used, and that's it. Hope to see you soon.